Afton Reservoir is six miles south of New Cumnock in East Ayrshire, fed by a sizeable catchment area, drawing water from all the surrounding hills. The land here drains into Afton Reservoir. That's a key asset for Scottish water. It feeds into the treatment works in Afton and feeds a lot of Ayrshire. The work that we're doing here will reduce the organic matter that is feeding into the reservoir and make the job of treatment a whole lot easier. The erosion that the drying out process causes releases carbon. When it dries out, it's like the peat that you put on your garden. It becomes dry and the wind can blow that peat for miles into a, a reservoir that flows into a treatment works. So yeah, keeping the peat on the hill, keeping the peat wet is the, the key priority. That helps to retain the carbon that's there. Bare peat lets carbon out. There are drains all over these hillsides. The drains are quite visible. They become more visible as the vegetation dies down over the year and which, with George Leslie, that we're zippering up. Zippering is much like the zipper of a hoodie where you take blocks of peat with the turfs intact and you dig the excavator's bucket in in a zipper-like fashion and pull it in towards each other. This stitches together the existing drain line of the peat which generates the water to come to the surface and return it more to a bog and between six and eight metres we're putting in a wave dam. So we're doing a micro version of wave dam in here because of a local farmer he has a lot of livestock in the area so it's more beneficial for the livestock for doing that on a smaller scale but more frequently and close together where you take blocks of peat from either end and from the centre, pull the centre up, blocks of peat from the side and form a a small foot high dam that catches and collects the water with a foot deep behind it which allows that water to pull come up to the surface and during heavy periods of rainfall it will spread across the rest of the peat saturating that as well. The drains obviously were there for a purpose, to dry the hill, to dry the land. Sometimes that's been ahead of forestry work. Uh, sometimes that was to dry the land where sheep were being grazed. But with the focus on greenhouse gases and carbon emissions, drying out of hillsides is not what we want to do. So we're putting back to nature what man did. That's what we're trying to stop here. <laughs>